Hey, how you guys doing today? It's your boy Rick here, and today we are going to be taking a PlayStation 4 Slim, and we're going to be upgrading it to this 870 Evo SSD by Samsung. This has the right speed a bit faster than the 860. Currently in this PS4, I have an 860 in here, but this writes just a little bit faster, and it'll prove the gameplay just a little bit faster than what the 860 can provide. Now, both hard drives do provide a decent amount of fast-paced reading and writing, but, you know, I always like to go with the best of best. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. The way you get this on this PS Slim, now let me turn this around so you guys can see. Sorry for the dirty PS, I got this second hand. I never cleaned it, but this is how I got it from the second person, right? And that's the PlayStation. Alright, so, as you can see, HDMI slot, Ethernet cable, power port, uh, port, and then, see this little slot tab here? Take this tab off. So, we're going to get into that. Give me a second. Just grab my tools. Always have a handy amount of tools to help you. Because I think there's one screw in here you have to take out. That way you can uh, get access to the hard drive. I like to use my Phillips. Uh, it's definitely Phillips. If you don't know what a Phillips is, the one with the four points. All right, so I got this one. We're going to go ahead and connect this here. Screwdriver. It's one of the ratchet types. You got a ratchet on it. And let's get into it. And if you guys have any difficulties on doing this, you always can comment down below. And I definitely will help you guys out and give you a more in depth description on how to do this. Now, when you install in these, you have to make sure you format these clean, and then you can throw them straight into here. Um, I don't have that many games. I have one game that I digitally downloaded. So I like to just pop this in, get the PS4 uh, software off of the PlayStation website. And I just, all I need to do is log in and just re-download the game. That's not a problem for me because I have time. If you don't have time, or you have multiple games, I recommend before you take your old hard drive out, which looks like this, this will come stock in your PS4. This is like the PS4 hard drive. This is not an SSD, this is regular hard drive, and this is a lot slower than this puppy. So, um, I recommend before taking your hard drive out of here, you back up everything. You get like a separate flash drive, or a separate uh, SSD drive, and you make sure you back up everything. That's going to be very important when it comes down to this. That way, you can bring everything back when you install this. Just plug everything up and restore it. So, now let's get into here. Enough talk. So, got my Phillips head. So, what you want to do is, so see this tab here? You want to slide this tab off. See how that pops off? Slide that tab off. Right? Comes off just like that. Now you're gonna have a screw here, right? My thing focus. You're gonna have a Phillips screw right there. And that would allow you to release the hard drive. Hard drives in here has this little pulley tab so you can pull out. <laughs> so you can pull out. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> My mind is in the gutter right now. It's like two o'clock in the morning. So you're gonna take your screwdriver and you're gonna put it here, boom. Uh, this is the right Phillips. Yeah, this should be the right Phillips. This might need a smaller head. Yep, she needs a smaller head. So I'm gonna take the fat head off. Good thing, see this is why it's good to have a whole bunch of tools. I'm gonna get a skinnier tip. And we're gonna try it this time. There you go. That works out, twist that bad boy. There you go. Now this is fairly simple to do. You don't gotta pay nobody to do it. You can do it yourself without worrying about messing anything up. If you feel like you're doing something wrong, you can comment down below. I'm always on YouTube, I'm always down to help people. And you can do this with the PS4 Pro, you know. If you need help with the PS4 Pro, I can show you how to do that one too. Just comment down below. We'll get into like a Discord where we can chat up. So once you have that screw out, make sure you set this bad boy to the side. Do not lose the screw. Set it to the side. Turn it around and you see this little tab here. Let's pop this bad boy out, All right? Slides right out, nice and easy. Yep, 
That's what it looked like. Now, remember how you slid this out? Remember, you slid it out like this. Fat piece here, see? Fat side here, small side here. That's how it goes in, bloop. Right, fat side there. Make sure you bolt this back the way it is. Now, on this piece here, it's gonna be four screws here, four, two on each side. Now, this is the A60 EVO 250 gig. This was able to download the software and have up to maybe one or two games. But if you're like other people and you got more games, I recommend you get something bigger, like a 500 gig or one terabyte. I literally, on PlayStation, I play one game, and that's Division 2. So I don't need nothing that big because I don't plan on downloading much games because I'm primarily, primarily on my Series X, my Xbox. But, you know, I got to show my PlayStation fans some love, too. So you're going to take your screwdriver and you're going to pop out all four of these pieces here. Should be easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And I appreciate you guys stopping by. You know, people kept asking me to do a video on this. But, uh, I was lazy. I couldn't, and I didn't have a camera mount. I still don't have a proper camera mount. This is just some fabrication I put together to hold my phone. My phone can take good videos, like up to 4K. So, appreciate y'all. If you like the video, feel free to hit the thumbs up. And, uh, subscribe, man. That means a lot to me. I do this YouTube stuff to, you know, help my family out with the bills. Whatever money I make off the YouTube, I put towards my family, my son's daycare and stuff like that. So, yeah. All right. We got all four screws out, right? Let's pop this bad boy out. Put her to the side. Then you're going to grab the new puppy right here. You're going to put it right back in. Boom. See that? Remember that angle I told you? Big side on this side, small side on there. Now what you're going to do is, is you're going to lift it up slightly. Because what you want to do is, is you want to align these holes. Right? Always align the holes to make sure it lines up perfectly. Because you're going to have to get these baby screws in here. Perfectly. You don't want to mess that up. Because if it's off and you try to put it back in, you can damage the teeth on the hard drive. And then you're pretty much screwed. You don't want to do that. Yeah, you don't want to screw that up. Because then you'll be crying. Oh my god, I messed up my hard drive. No. It's not a good thing, you know. Especially if you got a new hard drive at that. I know that it hurt my soul. These hard drives, especially the SSDs, they're not cheap at all. It's far more expensive than a standard hard drive. And no, I'm not fast forward and nothing. You can feel free to fast forward, but I like to do everything individually, nice and slow, so you guys can understand what's going on. I see a lot of videos, they'll fast forward through these parts because it's time consuming. But hey, you're gonna spend time with me today. <laughs> Alright, that's two out of that's three out of four screws. And then we got the last one right here. I'm gonna take this other screw right here. Pop that in there. And the only reason why I know this stuff is because I fix my own damn computers. I fix Xboxes, computers, all that shit. If I know it, I'll tell you how to do it. If I don't know it, I'm not ashamed to tell you or recommend you to someone else. That's that. See how that looks? Exactly how it is. See this puppy down here? I built that from scratch. I also put an extra SSD in there, the M2. I put it in the Xbox as well. Set that to the side. We'll bring the PS4 here. And slide that bad boy in there. Make sure to be gentle with her now. There we go. Gotta be gentle with it, nice and slow. Push it in there, and you're good to go. Turn it to the side, you're gonna see that hole for that screw. Bring your screw here, plug your screw back in. Get your screwdriver. Screw that back into place. All 
Oh. Yep, the ratchet screwdriver. I gotta keep forgetting. <laughs> Try not to smack my phone while I'm doing it. Hurts my soul to hear PlayStation wobble like that. Could only imagine if I was to drop the PlayStation. Should have hurt my soul and the viewer's soul. Alright, that's it. She's tightened up back. And then take this. Slide this piece back on. You're good to go. Right. There you go. Alright, that's it. See? Clean on all sides. Now, you just plug her back up. And she's going to give you... Uh, she's, it's going to put you into safe mode. Make sure you have a controller. Because it's going to ask you to press this button right here on your controller. It's going to say, no hardware found. And then that's when... You make sure you have downloaded the PlayStation software on a flash drive prior to doing this. And then what you're going to do is, is you're going to plug it in here, right? You're going to take the flash drive that you have with the PlayStation 4 software, and you're going to plug it into here. Once you plug it into here, it's going to ask you if you want to install the software off of an external hard drive or flash drive. You pick yes, it'll read it. It'll boot everything up. It'll take some time, maybe an hour or less. It'll boot everything up, and you should be good to go. All you got to do then is just sign into your account. Like I said, if you have more than a lot of games, like more than one, I recommend you back everything up. Once you got everything booted up, you simply put in your backup, and then it's going to actually restore. You restore everything from the backup files from your flash or your external. Or if you have one game and you don't care about time, you have a lot of time, you could literally just pop the new hard drive in, put the software on here, log in. If you got a digital game, literally, all you got to do is sign in, go to the store, and re-download the game. Simple as that. It's what I do on my Xbox all the time. I don't worry about all that backup stuff, and sometimes I don't got an extra hard drive with something lying around, a flash drive lying around, so I don't mind downloading the stuff. I'll do it overnight. That way, the next day, I have all my games ready to go. You know, I make sure I, I make time to do these things. Um, and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this will be up for sale soon. This has already preloaded um, PlayStation on it. I'm going to wipe it, but if whoever wants to buy it, you can ask me. I can put the software here from both PS4 or PS5. Put the software on there so you're ready to go when you plug and play. And you just sign into your own account. Okay, your boy wrecked this out of here. If you got any questions, like I said, comment down below. I'm welcome to all criticism. I'm welcome to all feedback. Thumbs up. Your boy wrecked this out. Peace. This is part two. As you can see, I have my flash drive in there, and the PS software is being uploaded. It is now rebooting, and there you go. Toy. See, so now it's going to update the files on here. Now, like I said, I went to PlayStation.com and I got all of the files from there. And then I put it on that little red flash drive. And then I was allowed to just plug it in. And then when you turn the PlayStation on, you got to hold it. Hold the button for about five seconds. You're going to hear a second beep. It's going to take you into safe mode. Safe mode is going to then tell you to upload from that flash drive the new software well not new software but you're reinstalling basically the old software for PlayStation 4 so PlayStation
Try to pull it up here on my my thing up here. Go. Uh, so here you go. Turn this around. Go to PlayStation.com. Go to support. And then you can go to hardware repairs. And then PS4. Any one of these if you have it. But we're working on a PS4. Right? This PS4 system update. And then it gives you these options right here. Right? How to install. It'll tell you how to do it. So... Basically, you're going to use this one, the PS4 console reinstallation file. You're not going to use this one. I tried using this one, follow the directions. It does not work. You need to use this one and you follow all the directions here on that red flash drive or on your own flash drive. You have to make a folder. First, you format it to FATS32, which you format it. Then you're going to make a folder in there that says update. Right. You'll make a folder that says update. Then you're going to make another folder that says PS4. Well, you're going to make a folder that says, sorry, I said that backwards. Excuse my French. You're going to make one that says PS4. And then when you click on that folder, you're going to make another folder that says update. Right. And then after update, you're going to put the downloaded file and the updated folder. Right. So it's going to be a PS4 folder. You click into that. It's going to be update. And then an update is going to have this here. And then you safely remove it from your computer, your flash drive, safely roll. Never just pull out your flash drive. Always safely remove it down here. And then that's when you pull it out and you plug it in. And that's that. That's going to be that. Everything works out. Like I said, if you guys got any confusion on this, you can comment down below. I'm always down to help you guys. That's what I live for. I live to help people. And uh, yeah, as you can see, everything works out. This actually went quicker. This actually downloaded way quicker than this bad boy. Remember how I spoke to you in the beginning of the video saying that this 870 is a lot quicker than the 860? It's, it's a lot to me, but it may not be a lot to some people. But this downloaded so much quicker than when I was putting the software on this. So that just gives you a great demonstration on how fast it really works. Look how fast I'm going through this. Like you don't get this. You don't get this type of speed. On this factory hard drive. You don't. If, if you do. Someone's lying to you. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said if you need any help. Comment down below. And I got you. Peace.